Hey guys, welcome to Rescue Talk. My name is Troy Gardner. I'm a chief instructor here at Rocco Rescue. Today we will be introducing the Spec Pack. It's a temporary short spinal immobilization device used to haul patients from confined spaces. Let's talk about some nomenclature of the Spec Pack. This device weighs about 15 pounds. Notice on the back here we have a nice solid rigid plate. This does a couple of things for us. It provides a lot of protection for the patient when we're dragging them through the confined spaces and it also protects our device. At the top here, we have a red lifting bull ring. This is one of our attachment points when we lift. On the other side of it, we have a drag handle. This is one of five. Once again, this is not designed for lifting. Down here, we have two at the shoulders, one on each side and one midway down. This really enables us to grab a handhold as we're pulling that patient through the confined spaces. Up here, it has an adjustable sliding headbed. This is great and it accommodates many of our patients for different sizes. On the front of the device, we have our chest straps that cross over each other. If you have a large patient, we want this X to be somewhere down on the sternum. If you have a larger patient and it's coming up on their throat, you are allowed to go down directly over the shoulders in an H style configuration. Down at the bottom, we have a red strap waist strap. Then we have two blue leg straps that connect back. Down in the middle, there's a D-ring attachment point for a tag line attachment point. We're going to talk about proper body position and application of the spec pack. First, we'll talk about body position. When you start your C-spine, always be sure to follow your local protocols. First off, at the rigid plate up here, you'll be sure this is above the patient's head. This is going to offer great protection when we're dragging this patient through confined spaces. Also, for patient comfort, we want him to be up high in the device. Now, how do we apply it? The first application strap is going to be the red strap. Pull it tight with two finger widths underneath. We don't want it so snug that it's discomfort to the patient. Next, we're going to come over with our shoulder straps. Red to red buckle, black to black. Notice we use an X configuration here. If you got a larger patient, this, this X may be riding up on them. You can also do these buckles straight down. Next, we have the leg straps. Blue strap up here, pull it tight. Okay guys, once we have the leg strap secure, we want to finish up here at the head and apply the head straps. When your partner's holding C-spine, come over the top with the head strap, finish at the bottom, with the bottom strap going across the seat collar. That's the proper application for the spec pack. Let's talk about the lifting connections on the spec pack. Not only does it offer C-spine protection, but it's also a class three rated harness. So if we have a snatch and grab situation, we can go down, put this harness on and just get them out of the space quick. The first connection point we're gonna talk about is the bull ring up here at the top. As we haul on this patient and they suspend from it, Notice the angle of the patient, okay? It's very similar to somebody hanging from their fall protection with that forward angle. With this happening, we wanna limit the hang time from five to seven minutes due to the quick onset of suspension trauma. In addition to lifting from the bull ring here, this device also comes with a lifting bridle. I have two red straps that corresponds with the two red D-rings on the front of the device. So I'm gonna connect these two first. Then it comes with a blue strap. This blue strap is designed to connect to the back of the bull ring. Lastly, we have an orange strap up here. This is just if you're gonna use it with an attendant, okay? So, as we load this system up, notice he's gonna be in a semi-vertical position, okay? This is a really comfortable ride, but most confined spaces isn't gonna allow us to negotiate that hole. So, if we bottom out this blue strap, simply by pulling it down, that is gonna give us a nice upright vertical position to get that patient through that small confined space. So once you clear the device from the confined space, we need to transfer the patient to a long spine board or litter for negotiating the edges to the ground. This concludes the segment on the spec pack. I hope you found this information useful and helpful, and we hope to see you next time on Rescue Talk.